John, this is so abstract with these numbers. Can you show me what you're talking about? Maybe with an example from the show me state, Missouri. 45-year-old Bertha McIntyre needs daily medication. She does not qualify for Medicaid in Missouri because her family income is too high, about $1,200 a month. Well, ain't she fancy? <laughs> what with her clothes and shelter? See, that woman is considered too rich for Medicaid, but too poor for the Obamacare subsidies to have an effect. Yeah, that's how much sense this all makes. So why not expand Medicaid, Missouri? Republican State Senator John Lamping argues Missouri faces tough choices. The entire cost of Medicaid in Missouri is one-third of Missouri's budget. We can barely afford to be in the Medicaid program as it exists today. Boy, that is a tough choice. Should we, as a state, accept 100% of this program's expansion cost from the federal government for the first three years, or mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. But it is a tough choice. What, what are some of the tough choices your citizens are making? Am I going to take food out of a child's stomach, or am I going to do without going to the doctor? Which would you choose? Here's the best part. These governors and legislators who refuse to accept federal dollars to expand Medicaid for people like that nice lady, all but three of those 26 states they represent already take more money from the federal government than they contribute in tax dollars. They are already burdens on the systems. I believe they're referred to uh, by those Republicans as moochers, moocher states. And if statehood was health care, Mississippi and Missouri would be rejected as having that as a pre-existing condition. So you may be thinking to yourself, well, so what do these uninsured people do for health care? Well, Republicans actually had that covered in the last presidential election. Not sure how that worked out. Well, we do provide care for people who don't have insurance. People, uh, we, if someone has a heart attack, they don't sit in their apartment and, and die. We, we pick them up in an ambulance and take them to the hospital and give them care. Historical footnote is right. You can always go to the emergency room. You can always go to the emergency room when you're having a heart attack. And apparently they think that's the fiscally responsible option rather than expanding Medicaid. Because unlike Obamacare, we all know ER visits are free. <laughs> Just one little problem. When the uninsured end up here in the ER, their costs are passed on to paying customers. That means insurance companies end up paying more, so they raise rates and fewer people can afford health insurance. The impact to our hospital district is $52 million a year. Had we expanded Medicaid, we would have got that $52 million from the federal government. Instead, we're getting it from local taxpayers.